everybody and welcome back to another Captain's Academy episode with your instructor Chase and today I'm going to be talking about the damage mechanics and in particular the damage saturation mechanic. So the one really important thing you have to know about World of Warships is that in this game damage is not random. But a lot of people probably don't really know how damage is really calculated at times and so sometimes things seem a little bit random. So hopefully in this video I'll be able to explain to you what's going on. So first up let's start with something really simple which is the HP bar that you actually see. Well this let's call the universal HP bar. It's the total amount of HP your ship has and once it reaches zero your ship sinks. So that's the easy part right? But how you determine the amount of damage you deduct from that universal HBR is a little bit more complicated. So first things first, the ship is comprised of many, many different sections, and each of those sections have their own HP. So for example, you have a bow, a midship, superstructure, stern sections, and they all have their own HP pool. That's about 20 to maybe 30% of the ship's total HP pool. Then you have the Citadel space, which has its own HP pool that's something like 300% of the ship's total HP. And it basically is designed that way so you can continue to Citadel a ship until it dies and you'll never have damage get reduced. And then finally, you have the ship's total hull HP pool. Uh, let's see, this is the concept that's a little bit strange. So aside from all the sections, there's still sort of like an overall hull HP. And this is about maybe 70 to 80 percent of the ship's total HP. So if you drain all of that and you drain the HP of a certain section, you can reach pretty much 100 percent damage saturation, which I'll also get to a little bit later. Aside from all of these, there's a few other things. There's like a magazine area, which uh, you can damage, and depending on how much it's damaged, you might be able to get destinations. So yes, destinations are not fully random either. And then, of course, you have things like steering gears, uh, which also has its own HP pool. Of course, the lower the HP pool of that, the higher chance you are to have your steering getting knocked out or disabled. Um, you also have things like your secondary armament, which has their own HP pool. And of course, if that HP pool is drained, your secondary armament gets destroyed. But the one really sort of interesting thing that we're going to sort of focus on at the beginning is the interaction between your section HP and the overall hull HP that I mentioned earlier. So let's start off and talk about penetrations, which is normally what you see as being the 33% damage. So I'm just gonna start shooting AP at a Congo's hull. You'll see that I'm doing 693 damage. And this is 33% of the maximum AP damage of a Farragut, which is 2100. And this is actually made up of 1 6 section HP damage plus 1 6 hull HP damage. Now, as I continue to shoot AP at the hull of the Congo, you'll notice that it goes from a nice clean color and it'll start to look more and more and more charred. And eventually, I'll get to a point where it's nicely charred and you'll suddenly see that my damage drops from 693 per shell down to 347. And the reason that happens is because I've officially drained the section HP of this particular section of the ship. And the only remaining damage now is I'm doing damage to the hull HP. And so that is the reason why I go from somewhere around 33% to somewhere around like 16.5%. So roughly one sixth, right? The other one sixth uh, damage that is being done. And as I continue to shoot and shoot and shoot, I'm going to continue to drain away that hull HP. And eventually what's going to happen is I will drain it completely. And that area of the ship is considered to have reached its damage uh, saturation point. And once that happens, if I continue to shoot armor piercing at it, I will do no penetration damage. If I fire torpedoes at it, I will do zero torpedo damage. If I use HE, I'll do no damage there as well. Of course, I can still get flooding and fire. There is one exception to the rule, which is if I damage saturated area that's not very well armored and I fire AP at it, I can still get over penetration damage. Over penetration does not contribute to the section uh, HP or hull HP damage. It just does 10% of the AP shell damage as damage to the universal HP bar. 
So here's the principle in action again. I'm shooting at the bow of a Congo. Now, as you can tell, I've already drained the bow's HP pool. So I'm now draining the hull HP pool. And eventually what's gonna happen is I'm gonna reach full damage saturation. And once I've reached that full damage saturation, well, if I keep trying to shoot for penetration damage, nothing will happen. And see, right now, I'm trying my hardest to get the penetration damage and absolutely nothing. There you go, you'll see that the ribbons keep showing that I'm getting penetration, but no damage is done. However, if I shoot at a place and I get an overpen, you'll still see the overpenetration damage come up. So even when an area is fully damage saturated, overpen still will do 10% of damage. Of course, when things are fully damage saturated, even if you use torpedoes and you hit them, you'll still do no damage. However, you can still, like I mentioned earlier, you can still cause flooding and you can still cause fires if you're using high explosive. Going back to the first clip, which I didn't actually explain as it was playing in the background, different sections of the ship, so the hull, the midsections, the stern area, the superstructure, they, even though their HP pools are roughly 20-30% of the total ship's HP, there are still some pretty big differences. So for example, this bow area on the Congo that I've been shooting at, I do 8 penetrations doing that full penetration damage, and I get one sort of penetration damage, it's not the full penetration damage. And that's it. I've completely drained the bow section's HP on the Congo, and if I continue to shoot at it, I'm only going to get the remaining 1 6 from the whole damage, which is 347 damage. So, what I do is I move over to the midsection, which still has its section HP, and I continue to fire. And as you can tell, for each penetration, I'm still rolling 693 penetration damage. However, eventually, the midsection is going to run out of HP as well. However, the midsection is quite a bit more durable than the bow area. As you can tell, I'm already on 20 plus hits and I'm still doing the full 693 uh, penetration damage. Eventually though, you'll see I'll get a midway number. There you go, 438 between 347 and 693. I'll get that number pop up, which then I know, okay, that section HP is now drained. So moving on to the stern area of the ship, and again, you'll see that the stern area also has its own HP pool, although again, less than the midsection, which if you're going for penetration damage should tell you sort of where to shoot first. Go for the midsection first, and once that runs out, then consider it going for the bow or the stern section for additional full penetration damage hits. As for HE shells, now most times when you're shooting HE, you have a tendency of shooting at the superstructure, and the same principle applies. Superstructure has its own superstructure HP, which is actually not a lot of HP, mind you. It, has a, it, it really quickly gets drained. So you'll see at the beginning why HE is doing 594 damage, which is the full HE penetration damage. But not too long later, you'll see that after a bunch of shots, and there are some of my shells, they're just going God knows where. There it goes, 433 damage hit there, and I fully drained the superstructure HP, and now you'll see the next hits that I make are only going to be doing 297, and that is the amount of damage that I am going to be able to do to the whole HP, but no more damage from the superstructure HP. Superstructure actually has very, very little HP, and it actually drains incredibly fast. So for a lot of Battleship players, you know, especially when your ship is... Uh, undamaged and you take a big HE salvo you can sometimes see like you know seven eight nine maybe even ten thousand HE damage and you're like oh my god HE does so much damage but if you look at the subsequent shots you'll see that they generally do significantly less damage so for, so for cruiser captains you know this is a pretty good uh, explanation for why you sometimes see really high damage rolls and then you then see some really low damage rolls now the one thing that I have to point out is that Armor can fully block HE damage. As you can see, this Yamato's armor fully blocking my HE shells, but not blocking fire. And this is part of the reason why I'm not a huge fan of fire, by the way, because even when you're shooting at fully armored plates that are completely blocking your shells, 
you can still get fire. So destroyer players, you know, don't always shoot at the superstructure, or you know, cruiser players as well don't always shoot HE at the superstructure. Only if you get one fire or two fires in the mid areas, try to shoot at the bow area or try to shoot the stern area. Even if the HE shell does no damage, you can still get those really, really annoying fires. So what about those zero damage penetrating hits that I get? You know, I see the ribbon. I see the penetration, but I do no damage. Well, that happens when you are actually hitting a separate module that has its own HP. It's absorbed the damage, but it is not tied to the actual ship's HP bar. So for example, every once in a while, you'll see that one of my AP shells is gonna hit one of the secondary turrets. I'm gonna get the penetration ribbon, but I'm not gonna get damage. So I want you to pay attention here as I start shooting at the secondary turret. There you go. Now the last shell that I fired there, this one here, did 347 damage. Now watch the next shell I fire. It's going to go out there, it's going to hit the turret, I'm going to get the penetration ribbon, but I got no damage. Damage counter did not move. And so this is what happens when you fire an AP shell. You see the penetration ribbon, but nothing seems to have uh, happened in terms of damage. It's because you hit like a module or something, you drain that module's HP, but you didn't do anything to the actual ship's HP bar. And to sort of wrap it up real quickly, overpens, ignore the whole section HP thing. So for example, I can keep shooting AP at the bow of this Kirov, keep getting overpens, keep getting that 10% damage, and I can drain the HP bar pretty much all the way and never have to worry about the section HP running out. And that's the unique thing, I guess, about overpens. One final thing about destinations not being as random as I mentioned earlier, there is a magazine uh, module in every ship that has its own HP value and uh, everything we know about it right now, even though I don't have the exact numbers, is that as that HP decreases, it becomes easier for your ship to get destinated. So then you think about it, you know, destroyers, they have magazines with less HP, battleships have magazines with more HP. Generally speaking, easier damage destroyer magazines, so higher chance to detonate. And for battleships, harder to detonate, although it is not impossible, especially when they get hit by torpedoes underwater. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this Captain's Academy episode. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. Other than that, take care, have a good one, and I'll talk to all of you again soon.